Hi, I'm Mick Garris and welcome to Trailers from Hell. Today's hellish trailer is uh, for a film from 1959 by William Castle, The House on Haunted Hill, one of the formative films of my childhood. House on Haunted Hill, the exterior of that house is uh, the Ennis Brown House in the Hollywood Hills. It was one of a handful of homes designed in Los Angeles designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. And it's uh, in a state of disrepair these days, but uh, it was used in Blade Runner as well as this. Uh, one of the uh, Frank Lloyd Wright houses in L.A. was bought and restored by Joel Silver, who ended up uh, producing the remake of House on Haunted Hill 40 years later with Bill Malone directing it. So a little piece of trivia there. Uh, and Julie Mitchum, who played the character of Ruth, was Robert Mitchum's sister. She only made, I think, four or five movies, but this was one of the, uh, probably the only famous one she was ever in. Um, personally, this film has a real uh, attachment to me because I had written an Amazing Stories episode called Go to the Head of the Class that Bob Zemeckis had directed. And it was written as a half hour, and Zemeckis shot a lot of extra film, and they turned it into a one hour episode. And so the opening title sequence is over a scene from House on Haunted Hill that goes on and on and on, and it's really dull. And they released it as a part of a theatrical feature overseas, and they cut most of that House on Haunted Hill footage, fortunately. This was the first of two movies that Vincent Price made with uh, William Castle. And Castle was kind of the P.T. Barnum of the movie world. Uh, he uh, did not trust that an audience would go to his movies unless they were uh, compelled by uh, reasons other than just the, the film itself. So there was always a gimmick. A uh, movie called Macabre, he came up with the idea of a million dollar Lloyds of London policy if you were to die of fright in the theater. Uh, in The Tingler, there were little vibrating uh, machines under about a third of the seats in, in the movie theaters where it played that every time The Tingler would show up, it would go and you'd get a little shock, a little jolt. In House on Haunted Hill, the, uh, the brilliant system of Emergio consisted of a fake skeleton on a wire that would jump out and, and go out over the heads of the audience in the theater at uh, selected points. So uh, really a great process. Cinerama had nothing on Emergio.